Yeah. You know, yeah. I, yeah. I once saw a magazine with Iggy, Iggy Azalea and Eminem that said uh, the king and queen of hip hop. And these rappers, yeah, these rappers are following, following suit, giving them this. this, this. Yeah, and, and let me, I had to land your plane there, brother. But yeah, that ties into that whole thing where Harry Styles—they're calling him the king of pop. And remember, they did the same thing with Justin Timberlake back in two thousand three, calling him "Is he the new king of pop?" They've been doing that stuff to try to replace uh, foundation of black American legends, but they don't do that to the people like Elvis. I talked about that the other day. They don't never say this is the new king of rock and roll. They never touch that. What's up, Baba? Okay, Tariq, I'm going to make this very quick, but uh, I have big problem with what you're doing. I, a lot of times I hear you speak. I think you're being very racist. I have friends, North Africa, Algeria. I'm uh, Indian myself, but I think you need to show more respect. A lot of times, I don't know why you're being so racist, what you're talking about, why you're saying these things. So explain to me, I mean, what what is wrong? But you can respect Indians or the North Africans. A lot of my friends, they say the same thing about you. I've not said one thing about any Indians or North Africans. What are you talking about? Well, I see your words. You're talking about uh, Somalia, whatever you're talking about. Af I don't know, understand why you can't have unity. These people want to join your cause. And they're just my friends. I don't care. I'm Indian. OK, I'm a, let's let's try it again. I didn't say anything about any North Africans or Indians. I've said nothing about you. So what are you talking about? Listen, Tariq, I want I understand what you're talking about. But your cause, you seem very racist sometimes. And I don't to who? You know. You, you're projecting, sir, because I've asked you three times and you've not given an answer. So that means you're projecting because part of your culture is anti-black racism. Your culture, entire culture, practices anti-black racism. You are discriminatory against the black people who come over there. The Dravidians, the black people who live over there in India, you treat them like garbage as a culture. So you're doing nothing but projecting, sir. So what are you talking about? How am I projecting? I have, I have you, many black friends. I have never projected. No, you black. don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't believe that. I don't believe you have one black friend. It's okay, not how even many Indian friends do you have, Tari? Um, I don't know any like that. I don't know because I'm a foundational black American. I don't live in India and not too many Indians live over here. Indians and black people have had great relations in America. So, But I hear a lot of you. How? Where? How? What great relations? How do we not have great relations? Tell me. How, how, but when have what? you seen any any attacks or any racism towards each other? We have very, very good relations every time you see. What, wait, wait, what good relations do we have it, except an exploitive relationship where we support your businesses and you don't support ours? But what, what good relations do we have? Uh, that is a good partnership. We have good prices. That, that is, is not a good partnership, a one-way economic support system where we support you economically and you don't support us. That's not a good system. We give good deals. We give the best deals. I don't know why. where it is coming from. You give the best deals? <laughs> Stop it. And y'all go out of your way to not support black businesses. Y'all don't support black businesses in your culture at all, do you? I guess I do. I, 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 I support... Um, Yes, I what, do. What, what name of what black business have you supported, sir? Backwards. Oh, stop it. Exactly. No, so I buy point. I buy many products. No, but stop with, it, my, stop it. with my stop with, it. I do. Okay, you don't want to let stop me speak, it. but I support black. Okay, no, whenever you don't. I go. No, how? you don't. No, I've you don't. hired. I've been. And, and no, but but let, look, look. I do support the Uber drivers. I do. I tip you. We tip you well. We support Postmates, Uber drivers, and you still complain. So what more do you want from me? I just want a partnership. I talk to a lot of my friends, and we don't, we don't understand why there's sometimes animosity or anything. I think if any group has a, a, you know, a pathway for partnership, you're talking about Latinos, these Somalians. Why not, Indi why not Indian, uh, uh, why not Indian by FBA? Well, how come you just don't get things popping in India? How about that? How about you get things popping in your homeland instead of fleeing? And we can go over I there. Didn't and flee. I, didn't, I, know, I did not flee. I came here for education. That's fleeing. You couldn't get an education there. Okay. You well, fled. I did not flee, first of all. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You fled okay. your homeland. Sir. Yeah. What did you want me to do, Tariq? I mean, I'm talking about partnership. Build, do what we did. Do what we did. Stay and build up your, your community. You stay and, and make it better for the people instead of fleeing. Do what we did. We didn't flee. We stayed here and we made things better, not just for us, but for a lot of non-white people. How come you can do the same at, at your homeland, sir? How come you don't want to give reparations also with Somali brothers? 
Why, why would I give them reparations? Why not? I don't understand. You're talking about people. The in hell? America. What you mean? Why not? I don't know. Just give reparations for what? They they got a. Why I, you're cutting up, Tariq? Okay, I don't know if it's your prepaid uh, cell phone, what that is, but I think you should. No, use, you went uh, under. No, no, not? sir. Your your you, your DoorDash order. You went under a bridge, and yeah, your phone reception is messed up. That's where that came from. But um, Panabji, um, so what do you want from Foundation of Black Americans? Oh my God, what I want, I want, I, I wish you the best. I want, I want to see your community doing well, but I think sometimes you're isolating yourself way too much. I mean. You don't want to be friends with Latinos. Nobody, no, nobody says like, this ain't about friends. This is about business. This is about business. And my 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 guy just hit me up. You Hindus over there killing Muslims? No. Well, well, you guys have so so much violence and and animosity towards different ethnic groups, and you're calling me talking about racism, and I haven't even mentioned anybody from your homeland or your culture, sir. So what's that about? Is that just all projection? I don't know. I don't know what projection you're talking about. I treat everybody with respect. Everybody I do business with. You want to talk about partnership? Okay, we can talk about partnership, but that's a two-way street, my friend. That's the thing you're missing. You say partnership, but we don't. Is what is that? I, is that on your end? I hear some things going on on your end. What the fuck is that? Can you close your window, sir? Is that no, Jurassic cl Park? Cl close your window, sir. I can't. I can't really hear you. That one. Is that a job? No. Is that Jurassic Park? If you're going to deliver Uber Eats, at least roll your window up so we can't hear all the the wildlife back in the, in your background, brother. I don't know what's going on, sir. Anyway, but you, you, please yeah, roll, your, sir. Roll what? your window up. I can't. Sorry, but but. What is Tariq? You're the one playing music on your I'm end. This is YouTube video. Playing sir. audio on your end. That's not a doordash. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Mogli. I, I don't know what's going on over there, sir. Uh, anyway, thank you, Mogli. Let me let me get some more. Okay, okay whatever. I'll, I'll come thank, back thank next you, time. Mowgli. Thank you, Thank you, Mogli. Thank you so much. Let me get some more calls here. Lord. Oh, Lord, I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, is this Dr. Cabas? <laughs> What's up, Dr. Cabas? Dr. Cabaz. <laughs> What's up, man? What's what's going on? What's going on? I'm good. What's on what's on your mind, man? Man, why so why the FBI was in your house? When are you gonna get arrested? Because we gotta um, we gotta get rid of all the people that are, you know. Uh, harassing Africans like you, you know, you like to, you to see who them. Do, no, how, are, who do I harass? I don't. You're you're in my space. You you jumped on my space. I'm not in your space. You don't own Twitter. You don't own Twitter, sir. No, you know, sir. I invest. I own, I own stocks of Twitter. But sir, but Dr. Cobbs, I'm in my homeland, and you're not, sir. So that makes me a little bit different, right? Turn your microphone on, sir. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm an American citizen. Um, right? Yeah, you're, you're you're a tether, sir. You fled from your homeland and you came over here to tether off us. See, exactly. So that's why welcome. you are banned from everywhere. That's, that's why you fine. are banned in the UK, in Africa. And and I'm fine with that. And that's why I'm in my homeland. I'm not trying to move to the UK, so that doesn't really hurt me in a way. Yes, I'm banned from the UK, but I have a beautiful homeland that my family built that I'm not trying to flee from. See, I'm not trying to flee to the UK like you were trying to flee here. See, see the difference, sir? Now, why do you have so much hatred for Foundation of Black Americans? Why are I you don't, so jealous? I don't. Yes, I don't. Do. I'm not jealous. You're, you're very jealous of Foundation of Black Americans and you fled to come over here among us. So what, what's with all of that negative energy for my people? Dr. Kabas? Yes, my brother, my brother. Come on, we all we're all Africans, right? No. I didn't say black. There is nothing you you say foundational black Americans. Yes. Like you I, uh, what makes you foundational? What makes you foundational? Oh, we built this country. But yes. what is evidence? Yes, that makes us foundational. That makes us different from you, sir. My family built 
this nation. We didn't flee to it. We didn't immigrate to it. There was no United States until my family built it. They went through the blood, sweat, and tears, and deprivation, and all types of hardships to build this place. And then later on, you packed your little musty suitcase and came on over here eating off of our plate with nothing but contempt and jealousy and hatred for foundation of black Americans. That's why we're checking that ass, sir. But with all due respect, sir, you've been to over 20 African countries. Everybody welcome you. Nobody yes. asked you, well, oh, this is not your country. Mm -hmm. Nobody gave, uh, gave you tethered energy. Nobody gave, talked to you like a xenophobic. And the problem is the folks over there are cool. Yo ass ain't. Y'all come over here. They send the sambos like you over here. That's the problem. That's the problem we have. The people in these other nations are cool. They have welcomed me. They are good people all over Africa, all over the Caribbean. But for some reason, you Sambos seem to make it over here with your anti-FBA hatred. Now, how does that work? No, I, don't, I have nothing against FBA. I yes, don't hate you do. FBA. You have no, a bug no, in your sir. ass no, about sir. it. No, you sir. No, sir. You have a bug no, in your sir. ass about Foundation of Black No, America. sir. Yes, no, sir. Do. Sir, sir. I am friends with many FBA people in real life. I'm not talking no, you're about not. Twitter. You have I am not the sir. Of black America. No, no, no. My best friend is at FBA, sir. They're foundational, okay? Just like you. So please, no, no, stop this hatred. It's not that serious. It's not. Stop being xenophobic, please. We are all African people. Everything okay over there, sir? No, people are making. They 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 playing with the soundboard, man. They playing with the sound. They 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 playing with us. Sir. People, I'm muted and playing sounds. So I cannot hear you, sir. Okay. Do you wanna? Do you wanna close your door? Can you close your door, Doctor Cobbins? I can't hear you, sir. I'm on the freeway. Of course, my door is closed, fool. What the fuck? Well, well, can what you, you mean, man? Can you uh, calm the animals down in your Uber? Can you do that? And how do you get all those animals in that Uber? Isn't that illegal? You're going to get a fine, sir, and you're going to get your Uber license revoked. You can't do that. Anyway. All right. Thank you, Dr. Cobbins. Let me get some more people on here. He bounced. All right. Calling up here, projecting your FBA hatred. A lot of these folks got a lot of hatred and contempt for foundational black Americans. A lot of them do. They have a lot of hatred and a lot of contempt, and they call up projecting. All they do is sit around hating on foundational black Americans. Let's get Joe I'd, Joe Adams. Let's get Joe Adams in here. All right. A lot of folks in here. Joe Adams. I think, Joe, have I had you on here before? You look familiar. Joe Adams. Joe, you want to turn your microphone on, buddy? Yeah, hey. What's up, Joe? Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing, Tariq? I'm good. Oh, now, good man. Uh, now you've been. I, have I had you on here before? You you look familiar. Yeah, nah, you never had me before. I've been following you for a while. I've been following you since the MacBook days. Oh, good, good, yeah, good, good, good. Man, I'm from oh, London. Where you from? Where's that accent from? Where you from, man? I'm from London. I'm from London. There you go. All right, what's on your mind, man? Yeah, nothing, man. Just saying. What? How, how do you think? How do you think the hip hop scene is going to be looking like in the next ten years? You think it's going to be a white face? Well, they're trying to erase us. That's a good question, man. And and let me let me get y'all. Yeah, what they're trying to do with the hip hop scene, they're trying to erase foundational Black Americans from it, just like they did with rock and roll. They're really trying to put a new face on it, and they're going to use Latinos as a proxy to really put a white face on it. You know, they're going to Jack Harlow us to death pretty soon. We're going to have nothing but a bunch of Jack Harlows and machine gun Kellys, and they're going to use Latinos as that proxy if we don't shut down the BS now. Because we are the originators of this culture, and anytime people want to talk to purists, you want to go to the originators. But if they keep telling you Latinos are the originators, they're going to start propping them up as experts and the faces of hip hop, which is what they're kind of doing now. Whenever they have hip hop conventions, you know, they bring crazy legs and some of those rock steady people and present them as the pioneers, which they are not. They are not the pioneers of hip hop, you see. And somebody made this point yesterday. There's a new generation of young people who don't know. So now with Joe, Fat Joe and 
and Busta Rhymes going out here and the, the, the white industry lying the way they are, the young folks don't know the truth. This is why it's up to us on the grassroots to really get the truth out here, because this is a culture war we having. This is not just about hip hop. Let's be very clear. This is not just about hip hop. This is about erasing people from their culture and also elevating another group in order to make them comparative so that when it's time to compensate the real aggrieved group, you can prioritize this other group and compensate them and prioritize and protect them first. I'm telling y'all this is the chess move that the white supremacists are playing. This is very, very serious and we need to take it seriously. I get one more call. There's a lot of people in here, but I got stuff to do today. I just I don't want to be on here too, too long. I don't want to be on here too, too long. But we had Trinity Sound. Let's get Trinity Sound in here. Trinity Sound, hop on. Oh, they finally gave me the well, mic. Yeah. They finally gave me the mic. Three. There you go. What's going on here? What's happening? Yo, you fucking want to be Pan-Africanist one day, want to be foundational black the next day, you got tethered children, are you going to tell these people that you're... Okay, stop it, stop, stop. Okay, now you're being a little bitch. Okay, I don't have no tethered children. Now, when a nigga called up lying about my babies, you little musty goat mouth bastard, you're the one who fled. Okay, I don't, there's no tethers in my family have a foundation of black American family and you have a tethered fleeing family, you little dusty bastard. Okay. So don't call up with your jealousy, you punk ass. Now you're probably sitting right over here somewhere in Memphis, somewhere. Memphis. That nah, my I'm, I'm in Brooklyn, New York, bro. All right. Well, you shut your little goat mouth ass up and respect foundation of black Americans, nigga. Because uh, if it weren't for us, respect, if, if it, sh- no, no, nigga, no, nigga, if it weren't for us, you'd be somewhere in a ditch washing your ass with a rock eating some bammy bread, nigga. So you get yourself together before you call up here trying to speak disrespectfully to me or any other foundational black American, nigga. Tariq, you're a fucking scammer. Uh, like, Dude, you're fucking- that's your projecting. Again, all you tethers do is come over here and project your scam mentality. You were the one who had to give a finger job to the green card officer to get over here, nigga. Don't call up projecting so, your so, scams, hold on, hold on. you jealous one second, ass. One second, Can I one second one nothing. You can't ask me nothing. That's crazy. Uh, you only, that's no, no. Crazy. When, are, when are you going <laughs> to fix your homeland? That's what I ask you, nigga. I, I'll fix my homeland, but let me ask you this, though. You ain't going to fix nothing. You, you, you're you sitting over here. You said the pseudoscience of controlling, of, of, of controlling people. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Jamaican, bro. Umbutu. Uh, Umbutu. Stop it. You, uh, um, Umbutu. You stop it. You need to get your ass over to Jamaica and get things popping. Don't come over here and say nothing. You need to go over there to Jamaica and get things popping. It is not popping in your homeland. You can't say nothing. He's speaking of scams. Y'all come over here doing all types of scams. Get it popping in your homeland, Mbutu. So, so you understand how to monetize content and you have these people. Because I'm a foundational black American and I don't sit on my ass in a mutt hut over here bullshitting around when there's so much money to be made and opportunities to be made. Yes. My family created opportunities that I utilize, sir, because I have skills. I don't sit over here trying to flee to another nation. I utilize the skills that I have now, and you jealous tethers do don't know how to family. do that. I'm Stop talking it. about Stop you it. as a man. I'm talking about, about I'm talking it. about you as a culture. You're bringing your dusty, jealous pocket-watching culture over here hating on foundational Black Americans because you couldn't get it popping in your homeland. There's a lot of contempt for foundational like, Black Americans. What turned you off about Pan-Africanism? What, what about Pan-Africanism? What turned you off about Pan-Africanism? The same thing that turned you Jamaicans off. Y'all weren't messing with no Pan-Africanism, and Marcus Garvey was one of the main progenitors of Pan-Africanism, Bro, and y'all weren't rocking with mental him. Gymnastics? Like, you're great at- stop it. Stop it. Don't co- I ain't going to have no damn Jamaican tell me about how come I ain't with Pan-Africanism, and y'all shitted on Marcus Garvey? The hell you talking about? Y'all got, you got some nerve. You guys crapped on Marcus Garvey, and now you want to take credit for Garvey. 
y'all weren't rocking with Marcus Garvey or the Pan-African movement. Y'all were looking for a white ass to kiss for the most part. Even now, y'all look for white asses to kiss. Y'all not trying to have no global Pan-Africanism. And you come over here having contempt for foundational black Americans because jealous tethers like you are upset. You about, bro? I'm talking no, 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 about, you know what I'm talking about. You- I'm glad that you can capture the minds of these young, impressionable people. And you can capture Uber passengers, sir. So you just stick to capturing passengers for your Uber and get that jealousy out of your spirit, sir. That's what you need to do. This is not jealousy. but you. It is jealousy. Even, I get that you're making money off of this shit. But- Dude, I'm going to always make money because I'm a foundational black American and we make success out of anything. We are the kings and queens of getting a hardship and flipping that and turning it into something gold. That's a part of our culture's foundation of black Americans. You give us something negative and then we flip it and then we turn it into something positive. We are the original alchemist in this country. We can take something and then make it something better. When they gave us the ghettos in the Bronx, foundation of black Americans flipped that and created the greatest culture in modern history, which is hip hop culture. That's a part of our heritage and lineage. You, sir, you're... You learned that fake black messiah talk from Umar, but that's fucking nuts. Stop like, it. You, stop can't. it. Stop And that's another thing. Y'all hate on Umar. Umar is the main one talking about Pan-Africanism. He's the prince of Pan-Africanism. And y'all, Tethers, are the main ones hating on Umar. So that y'all don't like no Pan-Africanism. Y'all always hating on Umar. Me and him, we had a personal beef, but y'all stay hating on that dude. And you talking about some damn Pan-Africanism. Y'all ain't about Pan-Africanism. <laughs> No, sure, stop, sure, it, no, stop, it. Ubuntu, stop it, stop it. Ubuntu, stop it. You're splitting Ubuntu. the doc. Um, there's nobody in Jamaica. Yeah, 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 you, you, you nigga, you, you, your little little ass, your little old dusty foot ass, cake soap wearing bitch, you. So again, you're sitting over there in Brooklyn, over here in my foundational black American country that my family built, trying to talk greasy, but you won't go home and fix that. Why won't you fix your homeland, sir? When you, whenever you stop splitting the black diaspora for your personal... Stop opinion. it, nigga. That's whole talk. You sound like a pocket-watching hoe. Is it really whole yes, talk? Yes, yes, yes. You just That's pocket-watching hoe talk. Y'all, Tethers, uh, your masculinity has been so downgraded in your homeland to the point where you had to flee. When y'all see a real man handling business, y'all sit there watching the pockets like a bitch. What you doing with that money? How much money you got? Is that all hundreds? How many bands in your pocket? That's whole talk. Pocket watching another man. You punk, go home and fix your homeland and stop pocket watching me. Foundational black Americans are going to be all right. Well, grown nigga with kids, you make a lot of kids. Uh, Yes, nigga, and you get offended by them too, don't you? You get offended by them, moist nigga. Pocket watching another man. And the gay jokes got you real offended. You one of them old... Um, Jonathan, what what was Tara McMillan's husband's name? He was from Jamaica. That what was that moist nigga who she made the movie How Stella Got Her Groove Back? You one of them nigga. Some some chick then went over there and brought you from Jamaica and then brought you over here. Found out that your booty cat was wide open, and now you sitting over here trying to hate <laughs> you bitch ass. When are you gonna act and do something? <laughs> Shut your ass up. When are you gonna go back to your homeland and make it better, Umbutu? I'll go back to my homeland. No, right? you're not. Well, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not going anywhere. You're going to stay your ass over there in Brooklyn, hating on foundational black Americans, doing crimes against foundational I'll black Americans. I'll go America. back to my homeland. No, no you're you not. No, you're not. Something actually good for the black Dude, community. I'm doing more than you. I'm doing more than you, sir. As long as I'm doing more than you, Umbutu. Oh, really? Yes. Do we got to put this to a Let's test? Put to a test. To Let's a put test? it to a test. Let's put it to a test. Let's put it to a test. Okay, you just talking like a hoe. You just making stuff up that don't even make no sense. You don't even have a real argument, sir. That's such a whack argument. That's a feminine argument. You don't really have no argument. That's how thorough I am. You ain't really got no argument against me, nigga. You got to have some kind of convoluted, slashed together argument. You don't offer no mental support to these people. What kind of hoe talk is that? That's what women say. You weren't there for me emotionally 
You hoe ass nigga, what are you talking about? Y'all tethers are the worst. Talking about mental, I don't support somebody mentally and emotionally. Nigga, if you don't take your thong off, that's what got niggas like you fleeing in the first place. That hoe talk. Nigga, get them damn biker shorts off and put on some jeans like a man and stop talking like a hoe. Get it together, Tether. So now you're disrespecting women, bro? Get it together. Now get it, man, get, women, out, get off here, you mush mouth. Get out of here. Get off my thing. You, you got about four or five flags on your thing. All of failed countries. Wait, where, where's the other one? One flag is Jamaican. Hold on. One flag is from Jamaica. The other one is um, in... Um, is the other one Ghana? Where's that other flag from? Oh, you failed, you failed geography class. I knew you were fucking retarded. Nigga, I don't give a damn about them flags. I don't be studying tether flags. Yeah, but you love Nigga, to talk about how you... Wh that. Where is the other flag from? I don't have time to look that up. Where's the other flag from? Don't don't deflect. You don't want to. You you don't no no. Don't do all of these theatrics because you don't want to admit where that other flag is from. Where's that other flag from? Went to Africa. Okay, you're deflecting, Mbutu. You're deflecting now. Why don't you want to admit where that other flag is from? I can look it up. I don't give a damn. No. Where where is it from? I know you can look. Where it is up. it from? I okay okay. Stop stop stop. Ho babbling. Where's the flag from? So you're doing the mental gymnastics because okay. you don't like getting called out. Okay, you're not you you're not qualified to call anybody out. The only thing you can call out is a postmate's order. You can't call nobody out. A nigga who fled. Who are you to you can't call anybody out. You don't have the clout to call anybody out. You just hoe babbling and and jealous yeah. tethering. Yep. So. I don't have, I'm not qualified. So you to call so that so like you out. your family failed in Jamaica and in Africa before you fled over here. So you come from two failed places, right? So you you failed. So you're retarded. You you, you failed in stereo, nigga. You a double failure. You over here in my homeland, sitting up here with two flags in which you failed in, sir. How pathetic is that? And now I understand why they banned you from. It don't matter. Why y'all keep talking about me being banned from the UK as if that's some kind of flex? Yeah, I'm banned. So what? What does that mean? I'm not. It means that you're a fucking moron. Uh, it, it means that I'm thorough and my message is resonating when a whole country has to ban me, sir. They don't ban morons. If I was a moron, I wouldn't be a threat, sir. Now, you're the moron. No, you, know, you know who's a moron? A nigga who failed in his homeland had to flee and you come over to babble and pocket watch the people you fled to, sir. That's a damn moron. You feel me? Your alt-right talking point. Sucks. Stop it right. with that alt-right talk. Sir, you made an alt-right and an alt-left to duck and dodge to get the hell out of your country to come over here to get you a green card to lay up among us and you're jealous and envious. You and your tether kids and, and your fucking wife. Sir, sir. And that's another thing. You tethers got a real bug in your ass about kids. Y'all don't take care of the kids over there. That's why y'all talk greasy about kids. Y'all let your kids starve all over there. You let your kids go with random white folks. So you traffic your babies over there. You bum ass nigga. You bum bitch ass. That's why y'all got a little thing about kids. See, part of our culture is foundation of black Americans. It, you, it's not a flex to say anything about a child. That's one thing in our culture that I'm proud of. We don't really do anything or flex about denigrating children or say, saying anything negative about kids. That's not a part of our culture. But some of the places where you're from, where y'all 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 traffic the kids, the kids are just laying in the street hungry and y'all stepping over them. And, and that's why you don't get the respect that you're supposed to get. And that's why you're jealous, sir. So anyway, let me get your bitch ass out of here because now you're just being a Dirty little whore. Okay, let me get some more people in here. You little jealous, musty bastard. All right, let's get Miss Djibouti. Let's get Miss Djibouti in here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's going on, Miss Djibouti? Hi, Mr. Tariq Nasheed. It is my first time coming into your space. You have been trending in what you call mm -hmm. the tether spaces. I call it the African spaces. But anyway, mm, now, I'm just wait, enjoying now, my... Now, now, where, mm -hmm. now where, what part of Africa are you from, ma'am? I'm from Djibouti. Miss Djibouti from Djibouti. 
There you go. There you go. All right. Mm-hmm. So what's on your mind, ma'am? I just want to know, ma'am, like, ma'am, 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 can you please chill out on the injera right now? You're smacking in the back. Please, can you stop that for one second and talk? Go ahead, ma'am. Baby, I said I'm from Djibouti, not from Ethiopia. Clearly, Got you it. don't know geography, baby. We don't eat injera in Djibouti. I'm not Ethiopian. Okay. Got it. Got I am but whatever. an indigenous woman to my land, what you would yes. call a foundational black American. I come from the tribe of Asa Mamas and Arabwain. And our tribal song is Hani Made Hanahaban Ilahema Mahaboine. And that translates that, is to that, is that Arabic? Is that Arabic? No, or, baby. Or, 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 no, baby. Is no, baby. Is it's not Farsi? Arabic. It's ethnic, ethnic, indigenous, African, native language that we're speaking. The language that you forgot and you lost. And we're gonna help you find it. FBA no, 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 is, no, no, I no, call no, no. it finding black. Oh, 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 oh. I don't need to find anything. I'm here where I need to be. I don't need to find Hamdinini Hamya. I don't need to find that, ma'am. I'm fine right here. I'm fine. I'm a foundational black American. I don't need to find nothing. Oh, I thought FBA was finding black Africans. I thought that that, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to send you back home to Africa where you belong because they stole you from me, baby. I'm your mama. I'm your mama. Nice to meet you, baby. Now, how can you be my mama and your belly is big with flies? I can't breastfeed off the flies. No, baby, baby. How can you insult the uterus that gave birth? Ma'am, you're not the mama. Your, your, your mama's a crack whore, if that's the case, because y'all are leaving your homelands because you're failing it, and then you're coming over here. You're not over there right now. You're not in Djibouti right now, ma'am. Turn your microphone on, dear. Oh, I didn't know you unmuted me, baby. I didn't know I got you so right, triggered, because, honey. Because see, because see, I'm so well, sorry. I, because, see, this is not the immigration office where you can just come in and babble. See, there's order here. So, um, ma'am, how long have you been living in the U.S.? Because you're not in Djibouti right now. <laughs> ma'am, um, you can turn your microphone on, ma'am. Oh, I'm allowed to speak. I'm so sorry. I didn't know I was speaking to my white colonizer. I know how much you love that white pussy. I'm so sorry, daddy. I'm so okay. sorry, daddy. Is okay, that what on. she says to you? Daddy, Abisola. daddy, Abisola. you like that white woman, that colonizer pussy, huh? Abasola, ma'am, you're not on the Ethiopian host road. You're not on the dirt road. Baby, I'm from Djibouti, not Ethiopia. Is that all you know about Africa? Ma'am, you're not on the dirt road host road in flip flops with high heels on them. So calm down. All right, let's try it again, ma'am. What part of the U.S. you're in? You're, you're deflecting because you're over here right now and you're, you're trying to deflect. What part of the U.S. are Baby, you Baby, I'm about to tether my pussy on top of your face. Ma'am, you're used to that white, white. Ma'am, I do not want musty struggle the jj i don't want it i'm sorry ma'am that's some pussy i do not want they probably gave you a forced circumcision over there and i don't know what's going on with that thing but ma'am what part of the u.s baby, my clit is intact just like your no, mama's baby no, i not. promise you baby no it's not no it's not they gave you a forced circumcision and then they gave you an artificial bussy so you are a trans struggle man so i don't know what you are right now your voice is a little husky you got an artificial bussy, and now you're living as a man in Cleveland. So, ma'am, tell the truth. What part of the U.S. are you in? What part of the U.S. are you in? Baby, I'm your next door neighbor. You forgot me. No, okay. I'm the one that made you that food, that, that soul food that you were looking for when your wife went to work. Okay. You forgot me, baby? Okay. Don't make me call your white wife into the Twitter space. You know? okay. Don't make me drag her by her neck and bring her no, here for me. Those are your I'm African, you know what I mean. We oh, dominate like that, baby. Those are your fa- baby, I'm going to make you walk on your four fours and make you bark like a dog, baby, for me. Ma'am, and I'm going to get you up out of here like a hyena if you don't get to the point. Now, Abasola, I'm going to need you to get to the point, dear, because now you're babbling. And we both understand that you are not in your homeland. You're somewhere in Columbus, Georgia, um, working at Walmart. You're a Walmart greeter with a big forehead and a name tag. So can you please let us know where you are now, ma'am? Baby, you're talking Don't about Homeland so much. You work for Homeland Security, baby. You- okay, now, ma'am, you're just babbling now, okay? Now you're just babbling. So since you're just babbling, I'm going to have to get you up out of here, ma'am. You got to get to the point. Yeah. Now, ma'am, I'm going to let you go. Hold on. Let me, I'll let you. Hold on. Now, you have any last words, Fatima? Any last words, dear? Anyway. No, it's Miss Djibouti from Djibouti, and we got that booty. You know what I'm saying, okay. beauty? Yeah, don't have a... Ma'am, the only booty you have is the booty that you had to sell in order to get that damn green card, ma'am. 
All right. That's the booty you had to sell. But anyway, again, this shows that that anti FBA jealousy that a lot of these people have because she's over here. She she won't admit that she's over here. We know she's over here. Miss Djibouti, we know that you're here. You had to flee. You can talk all of that Farsi, um, Arabic, Hindu, whatever language you're speaking. But we both know you were over here right now and you're driving in a Toyota Celica with a lift sticker on the front. All right. And some Afro beats in the damn tape deck because you still got a tape deck. I'm just trying to figure out what that that made that white woman pussy so special over black America. Uh, Ma'am, stop it. Um, while you're playing your Afro beats in your Uber, think about helping your homeland, ma'am. All right? I need you to focus on helping your homeland. Anyway, um, thank you so much, dear. Let me get some more people on here. All right? All right, let me get some other people on here. So, yeah, don't call up talking crazy and your ass is sitting over here. <laughs> That's the thing that kills me. Y'all have a lot of contempt for foundational black Americans, but your ass is in Brooklyn, in Ohio, you're right over here. You're never where you're supposed to be. So I don't want to hear about all these different languages. Dr. Kabaz, are you trying to get back on, brother? Did you just deliver your, your Postmates, sir? Dr. Kabaz, how are you going to change your clothes on your, your profile? <laughs> Dr. Kabaz, he wants to get back on. He wouldn't change his clothes. Was your... Did your clothes on your profile get musty and you have to change them? <laughs> this nigga picture got musty and had to change his picture. Good Lord. Hold on. Let me ask some, Dr. Cobbas real quick. Dr. Cobbas, why did you change your clothes on your profile? <laughs> Dr. Cobbas. <laughs> Hop on, Dr. Cobbas. <laughs> Hurry up, man, with your janky ass phone, man. Now, why did you have to change your clothes? Why did you change your clothes on your profile? Good Lord, nigga with a struggle fucking phone, man. How you gonna have an iPhone 1 and it's prepaid? Who still has an iPhone 1? Damn. Turn your microphone on. And Dr. why do you think there's a need to safeguard your culture? And how do you define culture? Now, now why did you change your clothes in your profile? That's I want to know that first. Okay, this is uh, this is from the uh, Code of Lule, which means uh, Independence Day, July 1st, Independence Day for Somalia. I didn't ask this you past- that, man. Can you understand? Dr. Cobbis, can you understand English? I said, why did you change the clothes in your profile picture? A few minutes ago, you had on one outfit, and now you changed into another outfit. Why did you do that? Did you waste some Joloff on your clothes? What happened? Um, so the, actually this is, I had the same photo. I don't know. What these are. I'm trying to be nice. You know, I want to troll today. I actually okay. It's a different photo. But no. Yeah. So why, okay, why is that? Go ahead. Why do you feel there's a need to safeguard your culture, sir? And how do you define culture in the context of FBA culture? Everybody, you know, a culture, a, listen, a culture is just what a group of people, what they do. That just, that's what culture is. That's what a group of people That's just what you do. You have a culture. I have a culture. Everybody wants to safeguard their culture. Then that's fine. We're no different as foundational black Americans. But there's this thing where we're not supposed to protect our culture. We're supposed to share all the positives with everybody else. But all the negatives of our culture and everybody else's culture, it's supposed to get dumped on us. So, yeah, we're safeguarding ourselves from that. And uh, that makes sense. Yeah. But what steps are you going to take? What mechanism can you do that? Because you don't control the uh, media, you don't control the actual yes, rocket, lab- rocket labels. We do. We control enough. Sir. We control the media. We control the grassroots, sir. We control the grassroots. As b- foundational black Americans, we can control what goes on on the grassroots, and that's a form of media within itself. But, you understand? So, yeah, we are, controlling the it. Time- we are controlling the dialogue. I'm one of- we, we what? All this, all, you don't own Fox, uh, Viacom. I know uh, that. Uh, yeah, but you don't Comcast. You don't own. How do you control the media, sir? You on Twitter because you I just told you. Network. All you I have is BET, yeah. and you sold that. Um, um, and yeah, BET. That's that's completely co-opted. But yeah, we control the grassroots media. 
we do control the grassroots media and that's a powerful medium. That's why it threatens so many people. The grassroots is more powerful than a lot of people would like to let on. So we do have control of the grassroots and some of the dialogue that's being pushed out there. That's why we're being attacked. But you understand? But because you, we're you support the tethered media. I, I, I support who? Seeing who do I support, the sir? Different, all the tethered media. Like, oh. Okay, yep. sir, can you please get your phone together, sir? Lord. I support, what you support is um, turn your the tethered media, like uh, academics, no, uh, Adams22. Uh, who, who else has seen you at? I seen you at uh, Vlad, DJ Vlad, Vlad TV. So why are you supporting all those uh, talk? Okay. Media okay, you, that you, you, uh, basically exploiting your own culture, sir. That promoting violence and attack culture. Why? Why do you support? Them? Well, there are all media. A lot of media supports. Me. Well, we're bringing some levity to it. When I go there, we have them talk about more constructive things. So that's my job. When I get there, we're not talking about old block. We're bringing we're bringing clarity. We're talking about things that are constructive. So we bring another perspective to it. And I've been on many media outlets and and um, programs and platforms. So well, the quality of the media that's relative. It doesn't but, make a difference. And plus, no. But, but what I'm saying is, like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait hold on. Slow down, brother. Slow down. Slow down, Ahmed. You can't talk over me, especially with that janky ass phone. Your phone is horrible for you to be trying to interrupt people. You keep muting me, nigga. Um, well, I moved, uh, did you call me a nigga? Did, wait, did this musty, bald head bastard call me a nigga with your wide Captain Phillips forehead? Really? And here's the problem you're over here with niggas. Your ass fled over here to niggas. So, what does that say about you? You a nigga wannabe. Where you at? Turn your janky ass phone microphone on. You sitting yeah, over cool. here. I apologize. My bad. That was uncalled for. Yeah, 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 we're yeah, yeah. We're having yeah. a professional conversation. But, yeah, we we two niggas sit. We two niggas sitting in a tree. Okay, let's be very clear. Um, okay. And okay, one nigga had to. We 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 two niggas sitting in a tree. One nigga had to flee, and that nigga wasn't me. All right, I just did a rhyme. How'd you like that? That was you All got right. me. You got me. That was a good. One. I got you. One. Now get out of here. Get your ass out of here and go deliver them damn DoorDash orders. Hell, you talking to? Yeah, you let these folks talk enough. They really start sounding like white supremacists when you let them talk. If you let them talk long enough, they start sounding like white supremacists. All right. Lord, he was just tether babbling anyway. He wasn't really talking about anything. Okay, why why are you projecting? Okay, you're not going to project. Don't project. There's no project. Don't project your own. There's... You're projecting. Don't project your own anti-FBA hatred. Don't I have do no that. hatred, bro. But it comes. It okay, comes... but don't project. Bro, it's already you're projecting. projecting. If it, was... it, it is projecting. You're projecting your anti-FBA hatred. You're projecting. Don't do that. Don't ask me a bad faith question where you're projecting, sir. We're not going to play that game. Okay, you, well, if you want to talk, talk in good faith, but you don't project your anti FBA well, uh, hate. Can I speak? Can I talk? Or is it just going to be you okay? Yourself? Okay, uh, yeah, I was going to ask um, you, I was going to ask you a simple question. Um, no, you see how I muted that ass? You see how that worked? So you don't talk over me, okay? This is how this works. Now, we have we got to get some straightening going on here now. Salat, let's try it again. Now, Salat, are you in London right now? I hear a London accent. Are you? No, in I'm London? in my home country, uh, Asmara. Have you ever heard of a country called uh, no, you're not. Oh. No, you're not. So everything. No, you're not. So everything. No, you no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not in your home country. You're in London. You have a London accent right now, sir. See, you you got caught in two lies. First of all, you a tried former, to project. A former racism. pimp is not going to tell me what. Yeah, yeah, and a former hoe ain't going to tell me nothing. Okay, you're not going to get your little musty fly infested ass up here and lie. We're not going to play that game. You done got caught in two lies. You're somewhere in London. You have a London accent. Okay. So let's get yourself together, Salat. Now, again, you know, your hatred of FBA came right on out. 
Now, why are you so jealous of foundational black Americans? Is it because okay, I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Why, why are you so jealous? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Go I just googled. I googled FBA, right? And it uh, it said. Okay, I don't give a damn what you googled. I googled um, hyena meat, and it was a plate of hyena meat, and you sitting there with a fork and a spoon, nigga. So I googled that. So what you're gonna do is not troll and get to the point. If you you're a grown a man mutant other people, you're a bitch, bro. Yes, I am, and I'm a nigga who didn't flee. Your bitch ass fled, and you. You're probably somewhere over here. You're probably in Minnesota somewhere. Okay. You're just angry you were in state for 400 years. Um, um, that's okay. I'm in my homeland and I didn't flee. You fled your homeland. That, that homeland belongs to the white man. Uh, and your homeland does too. That's why you fled. We have child soldiers. We don't even listen. No, you don't. We child soldiers. My... Listen, hold on. Hold on. Child, no, 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 hold no, no, on. no. Child soldiers, my ass. You, you fight to leave. That's the only thing you're fighting. You're fighting to leave. And you got your ass up out of there, and now you are a manager at Taco I Bell. I FBA. I googled FBA, right? Okay, and 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 I googled camel soup, and you have a big bowl of it, and it's steaming hot. Okay, so you're not going it to said fulfillment by Amazon. You're owned by Amazon. You're, you're not going to project your tether hatred on foundational Black Americans, sir. All right, that's not what no you're one knows. What the fuck that shit is, bro. Um, well, you know what it is. That's why you're angry. Said by That's why your little musty ass is on here hating in between Postmates orders. Okay? So don't get mad at me. Thank me. You're 45. You're a former pimp. You know? No, no, no. I'm a current pimp, and your mama's my hoe. And I got her on the dirt road hoe stroll in some high heels and flip-flops, and the bitch has not brought me my money. So go holler at her. So we Cheapest commodity African-American women. No, 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 no. Tell that bitch to go get my money before I have to go send Boko Haram to pimp slap her for me, all right? Now, we got to get this pimping straight, nigga. The cheapest commodities are African-American women. That's what you saw, bitch. Oh, please, nigga, please. Y'all over there. Nigga, the cheapest commodity is tether bussy. Y'all niggas be selling more bussy than the women sell ass. Nigga, y'all be on the whole stroll more than the women, you bitch-ass dude. <laughs> so you please stop. Even your profile picture, nigga. You got on a Balenciaga hoodie. And you probably got on a damn baby fat thong. So you just did something strange for a little piece of change. All right. Let me get you up out of here. Okay. Well, then there's Angry Tether Friday. <laughs> Lord. Aren't, yes. aren't, you, aren't you committing ethnocide by saying that uh, most of our uh, roots don't come from Africa? That we were saying we were indigenous? When did I say that? Hold on. When did I say that, sir? You said there were black people already here. I did say that. I didn't say that our roots didn't come from Africa, though. But who are these mystical black people? Mystical? The mythical. The mythical black people. Who okay. So let's try. Let me, let me have you try this. If you want a serious question, ask a serious question in good faith. But because who what are you they? Who, where, where are they now, from? Slow down. They gotta slow down. Because what you don't do is ask some bad faith troll ass questions just for the sake of being a bitch. I don't respect that. Okay. Now, if you want some real clarity and some real game, I can drop some game. But you you acting like a hoe right now. I can't respect that because you know what you're saying is some bullshit, and the question you're asking is bullshit. So as a man, we got to get some some straightening first before we can even engage. You understand? No, no you, you try to be like... Uh... No, 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 I don't try to be shit, but I, I'm not going to let a nigga come up here and act like a bitch and try to have a conversation with me like a man. Talk to me like a man if you want to have a man-to-man -man conversation, if you have a real legitimate question, okay? Because you're not going to start off with a bad faith question and then start getting into some more bad faith. But That's whole shit. Be a man first. Number one. Let's try that. You're filibustering because you don't want to answer the question. No, we're going to have to establish what the question is because you've already said some shit that I didn't say. I've never said we didn't have African ancestry. I never said that. So that makes you a bitch. The majority of it. So if you can say that because I never said we never we didn't have African ancestry. You've never, ever, 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 ever heard me say that. So why did you sit here and lie, first of all? Because you've established yourself as a liar. Why did you lie, nigga? Turn your microphone on, man. 
Turn your microphone on, dude. So you said that only 3% of the people that came over to the uh, U.S. were from Africa. But yes. you know that's not true. But no, that's not true. Okay, prove it. Prove it's not true. Because I can show you, you Doc, where it shows that. No, that was direct. No, that was, no, that was a direct. No, that's directly from. A small percentage of people who were brought over from Africa came to North America. They were brought to the Caribbean, South America, Central America. Only a small percentage were actually no, brought here. That, no, that. that's not true. No, that's not true. Okay, they mostly went to the Caribbean. The and the, no, no, no. So they came to America. Only 3% came directly to America. You know, the rest of them came from Caribbean mostly. That's where most of the black people came from. So they're that's still not, of African descent. That's not true. That is true. That's true. How is that not true? The majority didn't come from the Caribbean. No, they the, were... the, no, they they didn't have direct uh, uh, sales from like Africa to North America. Most of them yes, came. They from did. America. No, yes, it was only three percent that came to America, though. Most of the uh, slaves came from Europe, came from Caribbean. And, and... Sir, they, this is very well documented. Who came where? They've documented this stuff. A very small percentage were actually brought over here from somewhere somewhere else to the North American no, continent. To, to to the U.S. only three percent, but uh huh. The rest, no, no. Now, what to the US directly? Directly? Do no, no. It's directly though. No. What do, What documents do you have that shows that black people mostly came from the Caribbean who came to America? Where do you? What wait, documents? Wait, I'm gonna, wait, I'll post it in the jungle chart. Right Let's see that. This better be a legitimate document. Because I've always said, yeah, we have African descent. We have African ancestry. Of course we do. But there were black people here. Are you no, saying... But wh wh who are these black people, though? But where are these black people? Okay, what, wait, 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 what, wait, wait. How do they contribute to our... How do... Slow down. Slow down. Are you saying that's not true? No, that's not true. No, that's not true. Okay. Where, who are these black people? Okay. Why did all of the European explorers say this then? Because they're racist and they just think everybody dark skin is the same. So when they said there are black skinned people here who look like the same people in Africa, they were lying? If I go to India, it's going to look like people that look like black people over here, but they're not black. They're, from, they're in India. So... They were miscategorizing the people. What's your argument? I'm duh, I'm duh, yeah, duh, duh. They were miscategorizing the people. So them saying these black skinned people over here who look like the same folks from Africa. They but were if I go to India, if I go to India, it's going to be people that look like I'm you, right? Talking, I'm not talking about a hypothetical. I'm talking about what. Was no, that's not hypothetical. Done. That is a hypothetical. That is not I'm a hypothetical. About what's what, no, no. I'm talking. So you're saying that Columbus and Balboa and that's the description. Were lying. You, you're They're saying that they were yeah, lying. Yeah, yeah. No, they said they look like. That means that we're we're the same though. They look like. And if I go to India, it's gonna be black. If, if I go to India right now, it's gonna look people look like black people in America right now. Right, and I'm not the same. But they're black. not black American though. Right, but they're black. But what they got to do with us though? That's what I'm trying to say. You're it, already it, here. What's the connection? Because they were already here. What do you? But think we came from Africa though. But we came from Africa. What do you think happened to those black skinned people they were talking about? What do you think happened to them? They they weren't black. They probably died off when uh, they brought the diseases. Oh, so all the black skinned people died off. Yeah. Bye, nigga. No. Get your stupid ass off here. Okay. I'm not going to waste my time with a dumb nigga like that. Lord. Oh, goodness. Lord, Lord, Lord. What? What? Oh, yeah, this is the end of the month. Uh, I, okay, I'm wondering where all of this this struggle, drug addict energy is coming from. Yeah, this is the end of the month. The, the first of the month is coming up, and usually the good drugs don't come into the first. So a lot of niggas got to get all of this stepped-on-ass dope right now. The shit has all types of fentanyl mixed in with it. So, yeah, the good dope ain't out right now until the first yeah, usually at the end of the month, the calls get real janky and weird and goofy, dope head sounding niggas calling up with that stepped on ass weed and um, raggedy crack that they smoking and janky ass meth. Y'all stop smoking that stepped on ass dope. What's up, Mikael? Hop on, brother. Hopefully your phone is working good. Great minister of code.